Right, we're live. Welcome everybody to a Tuesday night live here at the Beard X16. Um, tonight, again, something different, which I like. I like to keep that, that going. Um, we're going to be making some uh, sea glass jewellery. So I've been today, I've picked up um, a load of different sea glass bits and pieces this has been washed for a while uh, as you can see it's totally blunt um but we're going to be drilling holes in uh we're going to be shaping them over on the let's change the camera again on the wheel that's connected to the lathe so there's a this is a uh, a 320 grit uh and water that we're going to be shaping and probably putting some facets on the glass. Um, I don't think they'll look like diamonds, but they'll still look nice. <laughs> uh, and then I'll be chucking them up for sale. So let's just get the worms in and we'll introduce them. You got clothes on, guys? Just. <laughs> no. Right. We'll go. <laughs> so we've got Dale uh wayne and andy tonight Good evening everybody You're right i'm not sure if um jp is about but if he is i'm sure you'll pop in um so what i'm going to do put you guys backstage if that's all right yep and we're just going to before we before you guys take over and and uh let me know who's in we're just going to have a little look at this lot so, I mean, there is bits of stone and pottery and stuff here, which I just couldn't resist picking up. I don't know why. Maybe the magpie in me. Uh, but some of this, this glass is really old. Um, Wayne just pointed out, actually, the really old stuff is more like beads. I'd imagine they're like that, aren't they, Wayne? Because they've yeah. been rolled for years and years. So these are probably, I don't know, 60, 70 years old, maybe some of it. Um, and I, I got it all from uh, Beta Park in Pool. So it's a cobble, uh, a, like a shaley, stony beach. Some of it's quite interesting. I mean, that looks like a tonic bottle. Uh, so, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make some pendants. Um, I went out and I bought some more bits and pieces for my jewelry making stuff. So there's uh, that's like a some kind of a um, a thing that goes around your neck, I suppose, and you just you can just hang a piece of glass off there. There's some clips there that you drill a hole in, and they you just push. These are like little silver clasps. So there's all sorts. There's, this is a leather. What's that? That's a leather thonging. Oh, interesting. Uh, I've also got some earring things as well. But um, there's all sorts in there. So we'll be using a few of those as well tonight. Uh, I'm using the Dremel 3000 with the flexi shaft on to do the holes. Uh, and that's about it. So what I'll do is I'll select some of this while the guys are chatting away um, And then we'll head over to the wheel over there on the lathe and We'll start shaping and and making them safe and pretty. Yep right Okay Chaps I'm done. So it's all, all ready for you if you like so right. So, so at the moment, why don't you want to read out? Yeah, I'll, I'll do it, Andy. Yeah, at the moment, we've got the cool. um, wood wizardry by Cullinan, uh, making a better, making, making a better life. Uh, Wendy's in, dies in, the Robert Dolman, the uh, Lawrence. Things just stop scrolling. Come on, hurry up, move. <laughs> Here we are. Um, Mark's in. Mark, uh, Tommy's workshop. Mark Stroughton. 
Barry Chitty, Douglas Mungham, Everybody saying hello to each other. Terry's in. Even Terry. I think we're going to go with that one to start with. Jennifer's in. Good evening, Jennifer. Uh, Keith's in. John S. Casting. Uh, Wayne and Valerie are in. Still going down the list. Okay. Um, Clarissa, oh sorry, Clarissa. I think that's nearly us. Yeah, that's us. That's that's everybody in at the moment. Welcome, everybody. Hello. Ooh, I'm I'm spoiled for choice. I it's might even Nevaeh. be Nevaeh. Yeah. Hi, Nevaeh. We're going to go with this one. I think. I think we're going to go with that one to start with. So I'm going to mute myself because you don't want to hear me drilling through this. Hi, Nevaeh. How are you? Hope you're well, young lady. Mm. Right. Whoa. What do you think is rich? Save the best till last there, Douglas. Nice one, mate. Just saying. <laughs> oh, Doug Miller's just come in. Richard, I know what bit you're using, but what bit are you using? Boy. I'm using the... Um I'm using the diamond bit. Uh, it's not pointed, it's flat. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Is this the square square one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm just going in and working it round. Cool. It's not something that I've done, carved glass, so it's interesting to see. How are you doing this? <clears throat> Barry's just come in. Evening, Barry. Is there a shade? Is there a shade shot? Is there a shade shot, Rich, that shows you kind of from shows because from the top down, we can see you working the tool onto the glass, but we don't necessarily see angle or presentation quite the same. I'm assuming he's saying no. Yeah, that was a no. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it's a wiggle so sort of maybe 90 degrees ish but then sort of yeah. wobbling it around a little um, and by the look of that going in at maybe 45 I think so so uh, but sort of as I say just sort of wiggling it around until he gets through and to sort of widen the hole a little bit by doing what you do with a drill bit <coughs> excuse me for now for now spirit and bears in good evening Hello. Hi, Kaz. I'm Phil. Did you say hello to Brian? Oh, no. Evening, Brian. Mm. 
There's Libari. Bonjour, Libari. And then Barry's in the shed. As we discovered previously, Barry wasn't always in the shed. So we have to take that sort of nickname as, as not literal. Tommy's workshop is in. Too Tom, late. Father of beards. Oi. Oi. Won't they leave a, a rough edge, Rich, when you're you're drilling through them and coring them out? Won't they? Won't what's left behind be be sharp in some fashion? I think that was a no. No, what I'm doing is I'm I'm actually countersinking because this is um, it's fluted, if that makes sense. It, so it's kind of countersinking it. Okay. What I've done there, this is a lovely piece of uh, rock that I found. So I'm going to actually, I've drilled a hole through that as well. I'm going to make this into a pendant as well, I think. It's like two different types of rock. It's like a two different types of grey. It's almost like, you know, the difference between Welsh um, slate uh -huh. and, and the other type. What's the other type you can get? I don't know. We should definitely uh, ask. We should definitely ask Terry for this, an expert opinion if it's this, I think it's Welsh blue, and I think there's a green or something. What have we just done with that one? There's loads of different colours, man. Yeah. Nerds. Wendy's asking you, Rich. Um, where is the glass going to? I don't know if she means the finished pieces or not. There, if you're going on Etsy. And they're not going to be expensive. They're only going to be about a tenner. Uh, and they're all going to be different pendants. Is that too loud? No, no that's all right, mate. But, the... Uh, I mean, yeah, it's glass, it's cheap, but, you know, it's been under the water for a long time and it's turned into something that I class as a piece of art I have to say the uh, 3000 with the flexi shaft is a wonder, wonderful bit of kit for what you're doing there oh yeah definitely I love it are you still on the collet? yeah you are uh, I'm on the um, you didn't change it for the jaws the no oh, it's you the are. jaws this is, yeah I'm on the jaws yeah. am oh, I? It, it, it's, on, it's going so fast I Am I in the jaws? That doesn't look uh, like the jaws. No, no, it's the collet. It's the collet. Yeah. The collet, the, the the jaws. That's in the in the pot. You got to you got you got to say you got to tell everyone until your little. Uh, Go on then. Go like on okay. then. I'll let you do, it, Andy. Hang on. Before you okay. do, what I'm doing is I'm going through one side, and then I'm turning it round. Because I can see through the glass to where it's going through. Can you see that? Yeah. Um, I don't want it blowing out the other end like 
you know, so that's why I'm going from one way and then going back through the other. So I don't end up with a um, sharp bit like Dale was just on about. Or asking about. On about. I'll have you know I wasn't on it at all. <laughs> right, so Spirit and Bearer asking, can you put the chuck on the flexi shaft? Yes. Yeah. Oh, you chip? Yeah. Well, go on, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Robin I, don't know I think you should be able to. I'm sure you can. No, I mean, yeah, it'll, it'll be. The, it should be the same thread size, so you should be okay. Do you know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna check it now. does. It does fit. You can. It does. it does fit. It definitely does yeah. fit. Yeah. I've had it on. I've had it on this. It's made me made me doubt myself. Oh, that's from a furlough Dremel as well. Right, Rich has had it on. Oh. <laughs> oh. God, blimey! Oh, do you know what? Is that is that it? No, it's not. I don't know what I've done with it. It's here somewhere. I maybe have left it in the house in disgust. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, story goes. Rich, Rich is trying to open up his open up the jaw on the little Dremel truck. And come, come look out why it wasn't working. So he gets a spanner to it, to try and loosen the jaws. So he's put. This is made from a cast piece of steel. So <laughs> he's trying to separate two cast pieces steel, uh, like cast. of the same cast piece of steel. And messaged me and said, Andy, how is? I think this is knackered. Can you have a look? Um, or sort of explain why I cut under why I can't do this, what's going on basically he said, I snapped a spanner and everything oh, okay, so we've had a look um, and turns out, as I say that they're out of one piece of cast and all he actually needed to do was just turn it um, with his fingers and it would have loosened <laughs> um, but uh, yeah it was it was quite amusing. It was. Andy was like Andy was thinking, Are you a total idiot? Uh, um Are we no, allowed to say that? No. Are we are we allowed to say that or is it just a think it thing, Rich? You can uh, say it. Inside you can voice, say outside it. voice. Oh, yeah, yeah, inside mind. voice, outside. I don't mind. Well, yeah, I think I've left it in it the was, it was it was quite amusing, wasn't it? Oh, well, I found it. It, it was. Amusing. It was funny. It was funny. But you know me, I, I, I don't mind people laughing at me. Irish Terry's on. I mean Brian at Hartwood Tunnel. <laughs> so right then, what I've done is I've I've gone through that nice piece of um, stone as well. Uh, I've done a little piece like that then a long piece and then we've got this one here which is a weird piece of glass really it's you can see that through the, it's got loads of little bumps on it uh, that's see it um, reflector from uh, light mm-hmm it looks like little, little cherries. Yeah, little yeah. dimples. Yeah, yeah. that really looks the inside of a light. Yeah, it, no, it looks like it's come off the off a, a glass tail. That does with the thickness yeah. of it. Still pretty cool, folks. If you like what Rich is doing, why not hit that thumbs up, hit subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And if you really like what he's doing, consider becoming a member and joining. Uh, the channel, um, or if you think he's looking thirsty, just buy my coffee. Is that too bad? No, you're all right. What? <laughs> See, I've not even got gloves on here, and I have got gloves on because the worst that can happen is I can drop it. That's it, really. And this is only three, 
320 grit, so I'm not going to hurt myself on this either. And what I'm doing is, can you see that white that's, that's building up? That's the actual glass itself that's being um, ground off. So easy to do. You don't need to put 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 it on the lathe or anything. I mean, you can do it by hand, like I did last week, by just rubbing it round and round and round in circles. But it just takes a long time. So for you vendors. I expect a little parcel to say thank you from me to you for being members uh, on your doorstep in the next couple of days. Shannon's just come in. Who's that? Shannon. Shannon. She was going to join me out here tonight, but she's uh, she's she's got loads of uh, uni work to get on with, so she can't. Uh, she's got to get done. But me and Shannon will be working on. Uh, she'll, she'll be joining me on a live, probably next week or the week after, where we're going to be doing some uh, resin art. <coughs> But can I chuck some advertising in for the crafter? Yes, go for it. Folks, I'm sure if you don't already know, this uh, month we're running the Virtual Craft Festa again. Jamie and Carl are hosting as usual. Um, we have 16 amazing crafters, makers and turners. Um, this will be on March the 27th, starting at a slightly earlier time this month of 9am. Um, if you want to see what the running order is for this, if you want to see what the running order is for this month, head on over to virtuallycrafty.com and that'll take you to a new YouTube page with all the, the crafters' shows. They're already set up as a playlist and you can just click on the first one and watch them all when they come on on the Saturday. So go check it out. A um, couple of names just to be going along with for this month. We have... Uh, we have Wayne the Woodturner back, we have young Brian at Heart Woodturning out in the chat, uh, we have the ever lovely Mr Randy Heal, we have Carl and obviously Jamie, we have the, the, the ferociously fiery um, Anarchist Costas, we have Heidi back doing some pottery, we have the Glass Boys, um, our fire back, and a few other folks whose names escape me at this particular moment, but please, please, please come on over and check them out, should be a good day. Some interesting crafts and stuff going on. Do you want, do you want to pop a link to that YouTube channel in the chat? I've, 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 I've taken the liberty, so sorry. Oh, no, it's <laughs> right. Rich, Douglas is asking you how the workshop builders are going. Uh, the floor's done, so I'm just uh, just trying to get the um, the walls sorted now. So, um, hopefully we'll have the walls up soon. I've got to get the roof done. Well, I'll get the walls, the, the framing done for the walls. Then I've got to get the roof done and um, sheet it out. But that's where the, the problem is, the sheets are very expensive. You know. Yeah, it's So, this week's invasion... I spoke to JP, um, and it may well be we will be invading um, Dale and JP. Oh, wait, I'm trying to get some lube in. So we're going to have a show uh, all about uh, what's coming up and the makers and stuff like that on the virtual traffic. With a bit of luck. 
So I'm starting to get what looks like facets on the corners of this now, and it's starting to look really nice. show you this. I'll dry it on my So I don't know if you can see Is that that Parkside sander you've got doing this? No, this is my lathe Is it really? Yeah. What I've done is I've just put um... What, the Axminster? Yep Wow. So I've just put a, a block of sacrificial wood on there to make sure it's flat. It's flat. Um, there's no water getting on the lathe at all because I've got this tray underneath it. Um, right. I did notice the sharp it's right there. What you've got to do is, if you have a go at this yourself, you've got to make sure that your sandpaper is always wet, otherwise uh, it, it will burn this sandpaper. <clears throat> Richard likes it wet. Burn, yeah. baby, burn! And not too fast either. I mean, I've got this at... Um, a thousand. You get like a kind of a white line when you when you know that it's got to have a little bit of uh, water on it. Oh. Right. Come on, father of beer. Hi, Dad. How many have we got in tonight, chaps? We have an ever lovely fuck you, Archie. 23 thumbs. I'm not sure oh. how many people have bought you coffee, though. Oh, well. <laughs> I'll just let you know that whatever, if you buy me coffee, it will go straight onto the workshop, guys. But, so that's the only reason I um, I started a, a buy me a coffee up is to help towards the workshop, that's all. I think we can pretty much call this one almost done. Yeah, almost done. Good lord. Right. Oh, lovely. Yeah, it's quite nice, that is. Lovely. I like it's that a bit, yeah. Nice. So let's do a let's do this one next. You know what? I might even I might even change my So this is what this, uh, this is the uh, metallographic abrasive paper, uh, 320, it's a wet and dry, and it's 230 millimeters wide. Right. I changed that because I noticed there was a little bit of a, uh, a bit that had uh, worn off. Any questions from anybody? Thanks, Wendy. Do you 
Judy's hoping for a ring. Who? Judy. Judy. Pair of scissors. Little one now. See what we can do with this. I don't know if anyone has, uh, has ever burns or cut a, a deer antler, but no. when this goes yes. dry, you know that smell? Yeah. That's the smell you get from when this goes starts to go dry. Burnt hair. Burnt hair, yeah. Shannon's asking if they're going on the Etsy, Rich. Sorry? Shannon is asking if they're going on the Etsy. Uh, this week. Yes, they will. Yeah. I don't know if someone can put a link into my Etsy. Don't mind, oh. chaps. My God. Mouse working, yeah. Just a straight piece of glass now. It's got facets all around the sides. Lovely. I like that one. Um, so we're going to move on to this this big one now. So I've just put the link into Richard's Etsy shop. Oh, thanks, Wayne. Cheers. I've literally just got to Etsy. <laughs> <laughs>
How long does it take to uh, how long does it take to sand a particular piece, Rich? Do you think? What like this? Uh, mm. Well, this is the third one I've just started, so I reckon if you spend like ten minutes on each one, mm. depending on the size and that, you know, this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to build up these different uh, flat spots. And it, obviously, each individual piece of glass is totally different, isn't it? Of all these beds are sanding already been drilled. Yeah, yeah, I drilled them a minute ago. These, these ones. That's what I was drilling in, in the beginning. Oh, okay. Please. And, and drilling them only takes, you know, two or three minutes each one. Thirty watching, twenty-three thumbs. Oh, thanks, guys. See what I like about this is, I mean, you can't hurt yourself by touching this wheel. Uh, the glass, uh, obviously, if it catches, it just flies off. So it's. Uh, well, you can as long as it's not the as lo you can as long as you, you're fine as long as you touch this side of the wheel, not the other side. Oh, spinning with a block on it. <laughs> definitely, yeah, definitely, yeah. What I'm saying is, you can kind of just zone out a little bit, like you know what I mean. But obviously, you can't totally zone out because it's a, it's a dangerous piece of machinery. But I find that it's relaxing doing this. Does the, does the wheel when it's spinning throw water onto the wall? Uh, uh, well, you can just about feel it on your skin because all I'm doing is I'm touching just the very tip of this, so mm. it's not soaking wet, but it's still a little mm. bit wet, can you see? Mm. What you could do is make some kind of a um, a catch, like a something to stand up there maybe, I don't mm. know. Maybe I will. If I do a load of these, that they'll, they'll probably build some. Would you always use a flat wheel, or would you consider a, you know, a shaped sanding wheel? I've got like a drum, small drum. Yeah. I've got yeah. one here. There it is. Sorry, I'm sorry. I've got this one as well. After last week's live. Um, <laughs> I decided to try and see if I could um, make something to speed up the process of the inside, getting the inside of the glass bottles really perfect. And this did the job so well. It's just a, a, a you know a, a sacrificial block, uh, and I've put some abronet on there, and so but it worked really well. If you held the glass on straight, it kind of vibrated, so you got to kind of work it. Um, but yeah, it, it works okay. I'll come see what we're doing. You want to have a look at these, Shannon? Yeah. Clean up a little bit for us. Ooh, that's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. That's really nice. Shannon approves. Oh my gosh. That's lovely. Yeah, you can all us. Maybe think, think about uh, doing some small. So I was thinking of this little one. Size to do t different facets. Oh yeah, yeah, that'd be an idea. We can make a ring out of this. Uh, we can make a ring out of this. Good guys, good guy, Colin. <clears throat> Getting on with his workshop. He's, he's getting it done slowly. He's got 8x4 sheets of boarding done. 
and a handful, yeah. you know, and a bit, a bit of a handful on his own. He's ended that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's getting there, Colin. Keep watching. Just need to get that, that, uh, those sides on there. And then start making some bandsaw boxes. Are you no. ticket one to do next, Shannon? Yeah, this one, look, a tiny little pendant. Huh? Tiny little pendant. Oh, yeah. What do you think, a different one? Shannon's over there picking another piece of wood, to, uh, piece of wood. Got wood on the brain, look. Um. See, I think we should do this one, but will you be able to do it on there? Too small, really. You'd have to do it by hand, wouldn't you? Well, mm. I think that one we can call done. I believe that they uh, they use something similar to this when they're cutting their doing diamond work, don't they? But it's flat, I think. I think we'll pull that yeah. one done. If you can see that on camera. Oh, that looks so nice. It almost looks like a little diamond, doesn't it? It does, yeah. A little like brown it. diamond. That's lovely. Like right, that's good. Let's have a look at this. This piece of... Oh, God, that's, that's good. I like that. Have you just done this? No. Are you sure? It's like a teardrop. This is that stone that I picked up, Cameron. Is he? See it? Ooh. Two-toned. Yeah, that's why I picked it up. It's... Mm. Yeah. Hang on. Visual. Where's the stone I picked up? I this special one. Oh, what have you called out here? Shame I didn't know anyone that made me a cup of tea, is it really? Shame, you can have this. Pepsi Max. You know what kind of Pepsi Max? I went to give Mum her uh, Pepsi Max and she picked it up and it had ice in it and she just gave it straight back to me. So I had two. <laughs> They're sort of chatting yeah. amongst themselves at the yeah. moment. You get them all on there, like, seeing hopefully, won't we? Okay, that's fine. Mm. It's, uh, it's probably boring to watch, but... Uh, Good to know. Do you know what? They're good money. Oh! Have you got one for me then, Shannon? We'll do it now. Yeah, look. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, that's interesting. Wait, I'll wash it. Oh, yeah. Right, there's the next one done. It's quite nice, isn't it? That's really nice. I have no idea what kind of stone it is. But it's I like the. Uh... I'm going to just get rid of that imperfection there, to be honest. Oh, there's another little one. Oh, yeah. Is that green? Oh, there we go. That's gone there. That imp imperfection's gone there. Just... Oh, that's nice. That's Oh, wow. <laughs> That's really nice, isn't it? It's really nice. So that's those two done. 
I don't know which one's my favourite. I will be uh, buffing these with some uh, Yorkshire Grit Microfine as well on the buffer. Do you know what I saw? It looks like a little teardrop. Oh, yeah. Right, there's those two. <gasps> oh, wow. So, Shannon's chose this one to do. I don't know if you can see it on the screen. So, what we'll do, I'll switch this over here. <clears throat> Rub that down. Ooh. Okay, right. Shall we? Am I on camera? You're not on camera. Shall we switch round to that one? Shannon's going to pick some. Right. So these are done, aren't they? What are you picking, Shannon? You've got little boxes oh. them in. Put them in here. Though. Which ones do you want to? Which ones you want to pick for me to do? That's that. Look at that one. That's the one I just chose because if you put it like this, it's like a teardrop. Okay, we'll do that one then. And these ones, I think we should put make into rings. Okay, yeah. And that one. Look at that one. That's a nice one, isn't it? Yeah. Should we make that like into? Should we make that into one? Into a pendant or a pendant? Ring. Yeah. Tiny little thing. Right, hang on then, because I need um, that there. Hmm. So, which one's this one? Yeah. These that one and that one, yeah. Yeah. Do you need to buff that one down? I like it like that actually. I've got to put a hole in it. Let's have the hole right in that corner here. Yeah. I feel like a dentist. <laughs> yeah. I want one that anyway. Hold still, otherwise I'll put my knee on your jaw. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> what we'll do, we'll do these last three here, and then we'll start assembling them, yeah? Yeah. Oh. All right. There you go, there's our hole. Lovely. A little hole. Mm. I'm probably out of focus, but right. Yeah, okay. I had dirty chips for tea tonight. <laughs> Yummer. We had KFC. Oh. And you, and you know what? I got all the way down there to pool and couldn't find my bank card in my wallet. So I had to come all the way back. Bear in mind, this was quarter to seven. So let's go back all the way back down there. Nice. But I only picked my card up from Tesco's today because I've left it in the <laughs> <laughs> in the machine and now I've lost it again. <laughs> Don't. I wanted to engrave on one of these tonight something, some swirly patterns or something. But I'm thinking now that it might spoil it. I don't know. We'll have a little look. I think if you did that, you'd have to see kind of the whole one. Yeah, it's yeah. The ones with their detail on them. Why do you think here? They just fall off. Yeah. Or are you not using this one? There we go, we've gone through that little one. Oh, look at them Huh? Can't be that much 
cream in it. Surely, they give me some food. There's caffeine in it. I can't touch it. Yeah, but they can't be that much. Yeah, they but they food. let, you know, some parents do let their kids have yeah, caffeine. But, yeah, but I mean, like, surely there can't be that much caffeine in it. Yeah, I think there is. I don't think it's a healthy amount for kids to have, like Coke and Pepsi and that. We had it when we were younger, and I that Not place. very often you didn't. Well, but the kids know. today, I mean, a lot of... So you knew a about lot of, <laughs> Yeah. A lot of kids now, I mean, they live off fast food, don't they? Mm. And whenever yeah. you buy fast food, you get um, Coke or something with it. Huh? It's going to be Luke's pretty good with his vegetables and his meat. He likes meat. Good lad. Yeah. Oh, that That's a lovely shape. Should we cut it? Cut it. Oh, it should put a hole in it. Yeah. Oh. In half and have it as two diamond shaped earrings. What do you think? Okay. I'll find a better one. Because the earrings don't have to be like the same, do they? Because that's no. the beauty that they're different. It's two of them, so they're going to be different. So, there we go. We've got a few more now. So, we've got that one. Cool. We've got that one that is all teardrop isn't it like a teardrop so all i'm gonna do is round the end of it um we've got that one that's got that those lines on again i might even engrave the back of that one mm. and then we've got this nugget mm. as well you can see where i've gone through that with the mm. that so that'll be a tiny little little pendant right yeah. shall we switch over to I'm going to find some ones I can turn into earrings. That one? Right then. Let's crack on. <laughs> can I have my drink, please, Shannon? Oh, you could cut this one. So it's similar shape to this one. Couldn't you? Yeah. <coughs> oh, jeez. What? I didn't even... <laughs> I didn't mention popcorn chicken. Right then. Yeah. Very quiet. Are you enjoying yourself, guys? <laughs> We've got this one. Huh? That one? Yeah, I'm all right. That one? The best yeah. one. Yeah, I'm, I'm just My watching. Best you watching. Yeah, I'm just watching too. All I'm doing with this one is just. Just tidying that top up because I think the bottom of it is natural. I don't want to do anything with the bottom of it. Just that to the top there. Just rounding it over. Yes, yes. Done. That's 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 That's done. 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 That's That's done. 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 That's done.
these oh, people yeah. gonna see for ages. <laughs> Did you just do that noise? <laughs> right then, this is the little nugget. So we're gonna put some facets on this. I found another one. Hmm? Oh yeah. Well, you probably found that one. They could be a set actually, you know. Steve Jobs has just come in. Hi Steve. Hi Steve. Steve. Of the job. Hi Steve. Anyone ever finds any red or blue sea bass? Oh, you've got that. Oh, I've lost that one now. Okay, that was probably too too tidy for my big fat. Oh, you lost fingers. the nugget. Yeah, the little one's gone. No. Oh. I will find it though. Right, okay, so we'll work on this strange um, Viking looking shape next. Right, I'm going to make you a cup of tea. You're making me a cup of tea. So desperate for a cup of tea. I'm Ooh. desperate. I am so desperate. I wish I knew someone that knew how to make my cup of tea. Since like you're it. withering away to nothing because you don't have a cup of tea, I'll, away to nothing. I'll I'm, make you. I'm one. using all my puppy fat up. Oh. <laughs> I'm going. And that's what I I do. I, I eat lots of sweets and stuff just purely because I need the puppy fat just in case. So what I'm doing, you see this straight edge here, I'm, it's a bit jagged, so what I'm doing is I'm just flattening it and then I'll put the facet on, on the side of it. Right, uh, Wendy was asking when the clocks go forward. The clocks go forward, I've just checked, and the clocks go forward at 1am on Sunday the 28th of March. Just put it there, another one. What did it do with that glass? I don't know. Oh, poor man. I just put it there. Oh, there it is. I've got it. <laughs> these is going to be for my mom. I uh, went to get her a Mother Day, Mother's Day card and they told to be sold out everywhere. So I'll drop one of these off to you mom if you're watching. Mm -hmm. Here Steve. tomorrow way um i've got no idea yeah. it's not, i don't know what it is 
I dropped some. What you done to it? Well, basically, do you want to know what happened? Yeah. I went in the kitchen and I was making a cup of tea, and as I was making out, there was a loaf of bread on the side. So I just picked the loaf of bread up and I went to put it away, yeah. and a piece of bread dropped on the floor. So I went to pick it up, and Loki tried to grab it first. And then I had to wrestle him for the bread, it's and my hand, my hand was in his mouth, but he was still trying to eat it. So I was trying to pull it out of his mouth. Anyway, I dropped some water tea, so it's fine. Oh. That dog will do anything for food. Right. Did you say you can cut this glass? Huh? Did you say you can I, cut I this? I might be able to cut it. Let's look. How many are you thinking of making, Rich? I've got another one here that I'm going to do now, and then that'll be that for tonight. Oh. Hey. hey, Steve, how are you? I've just been Ian's in the coffee. shed along with Barry. Ian's in the shed along with Barry. I think that's something we should explore. Barry, Ian, do you share the shed that you're both in? Just an observation and a question. I think with the size of Ian's shed, he can't share it with anybody. Breathe in, lads. Breathe in. Bye, Douglas. Oh, he's Douglas off. He is. <clears throat> Thanks, Douglas. See you later, mate. There you go. There's the next one done. Okay. Right. Last one. Yeah. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? So, let's have a look. Do you know what? I think this one's my favourite. Hold on a minute. Ian says he doesn't think his wife has been in the shed. And I was talking about Barry. Is Barry Ian's wife? I don't know. Good lord. Secrets coming out tonight. Good lord. I just contacted D. See if there's a. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, it's that stuff. Yeah, all fix cool, that stuff's good stuff. Boy, it's out of work. Breathing kids, no farting. Are sharing a shed? Wayne Gilbert that gave me this. Um, I think it may have been Wayne Gilbert that gave me this stuff. What's that? This this sandpaper. No, uh, no, wind, uh, wind of the big feet. Yeah, yeah. I think it was actually because he gave me two uh, two of these boxes. Oh, can't see two of those boxes. Or was it? Yeah, I think it was. Right. Okay, last one. What have I done with this, Sharon? What? A piece of glass. Did you put it back in the water? 
No, no, no. Mm -hmm. no, 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 no. Oh, it's chips. Oh, it's such an idiot. Are you just? Are you just? There it is. I got it. Don't panic. <laughs> Don't panic. Don't panic. Everyone's yeah. going to a frenzy. Careful. Yeah. With the Wendy's just said that's a good way to sharpen scissors by cutting a decent of paper. Very true. Should I change Very this? <laughs> I sharpen scissors with my beard. Reg, can Shannon hear us? No, she can't. Shannon, yeah. I want your job to be late to her. Brian Hartwood says Ian, his, his wife, comes into his shed. And brings him a team cake sometimes. I think she's just checking if there's any new tools though. Dean's <laughs> trying to persuade his wife that a pub shed is a good idea. Mm. You can get no. behind that. No. Yeah, Colin's got to put a new roof on his bar outside. He's just found some black mold on the roof. Bar. My dad's bar is about the size of my new workshop. <laughs> Steve Jobbins reckons he'd pay good money to watch Mark do this in his new lathe. Oh! It's a little nice one. Rather black, and they're all in the one corner. You get some chemistry for that, Colin. Must be dampness. Some nice little hidden gems here, Dad. Oh. Sorry. It's alive! Out the finest ones, but near. Andy, when he's asking you if you're playing space in the just who, me? Yeah. Uh, no. Um. I've just, uh. I don't know what you're going to do with these massive pieces. I'll break it. I'm making something cool work. One big earring. How are we doing for time, perhaps? You've just gone um, ten past nine. Uh, 
Rich, if you're about Thursday, come over to my house uh, to pick up those Dremel bits. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Thursday evening. Uh, what time? Because I'm going to be invading. Oh, yeah, good job. Well, I finish at work at four, so... Okay, I'll meet, I'll meet you there then. Five-ish, so... Yeah, yeah. I got something cool. If I don't break it between now and then. Dead as I, I got it too hot and it cracked. So I took a chunk out, so I had to just rework that bit. Shoot over to oh, the other camera. It's definitely my favourite. Where Shannon has prepped the area. Oh, I thought you prepped the area. I thought yeah, that's what I you were doing. Okay. Oh no, I was picking out all the perfect ones. Oh, okay. The ones right. we can use for jewelry. Cool. So what we're going to do now is... Do you want these on there? Yeah, yeah. Swig cup of tea. Even though half is missing, so low key. <clears throat> oh, that's a good copper. Right, so what we got? Right. We've got these two. That one. Oh, let's put it... Look, hang on a minute. So that I've got to just run over and mm. get rid of that piece there. Right. Wait, why? No, it's a bit... Let's just get rid of this piece. This one is a bit... Uh... time to do the that Yorkshire grit tonight I don't think I mean we can have a little go can't we maybe no I quite like those little imperfections in there okay. uh, that's a one. yeah or maybe the stone what's that stone slate mm, I love that one mm. right then so what we need is Some of these so I'm thinking where does that go does that go at the back Shannon yeah. that goes at the back yeah okay so what should we put on this one then shall we put the stone on this one I think we should I think we should put the stone on that one what do you reckon guys so this is a a what is it, suede? Uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah, we'll put the stone on what that. What about that one? You're going to hang it in a turnip. We could put it on a silver Sorry? 
You're going to hang it on a turnip. A turnip? Yeah, you said a sweet. Oh. <laughs> no, I think we're... <laughs> so this goes around your neck. I think that would go better on it. Yeah, actually, that would look really nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to... These are little silver... Oh. oh, that looks like a bit... Right, okay. So... Put that on like that. Just close those together. Get some manly ones in there. <laughs> there we go. So that's our first one done. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? That's really nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. It's lovely. Do you want to rub some, um, just thinking, What's it some wax into that, maybe? Yeah. yeah? Where is it? It's. Um, Yeah. Um, right. I'm going to change these because these have got a bit grimy. I like these ones here. I think so, yeah. I don't like that, actually. It's too big. Uh, I've got some rings. Is that bigger than those? Okay. Cool. That's better. That's smaller. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna put that one on it. Oh, look at that with a bit of uh, wax on it. <laughs> what are these ones for? These are small. Uh, they're just little. Oh, they're the same. They're just small. Yeah. Little links, aren't they? Nope. Yeah, Steve yeah. Coombs has just come in. Evening, Steve. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. That's better. That's a lot better. Oh, yeah. We'll have to polish these up, but mm. they'll uh, they'll look nice when they're done. That's really nice. I like these little ones. Mm. Oh yeah. I think that one. She's got a silver chain. Which one? This one. She's got a silver yeah, chain. Yeah. Yeah. What I'll do is I'll put one of these little. Little things on it, mm -hmm. unless we put a a ring. We put a ring on that one, yeah. Actually, yeah, I think a ring would look better. So, is this where you stuff the screws in until yeah. Jake tip yeah. them all over? Yeah. <laughs> so, no. Yeah. No, this is no good for with my big sausage fingers. I told you to get use, another pair. Use two sets of pliers, Rich. That's what Shannon said. He's like, buy two sets, Dad. I'm like, nah. I think Jin's only got about 15 sets. That's she. <laughs> there we go. That's got it. That's got it. There we go. So that's that one on. That's better, isn't it, Shannon? Yeah. Oh, oh that's yeah. loads better with that tiny little one that's on. That's lovely. Can you see that? Because you don't want it to take away from the actual glass itself, do you? 
<laughs> you can actually see see glass because there's loads of marks all over it, scratches and yeah, I like that. So that's that one. Oh, sorry, it's that was working again. Up. It works again, Andy. Yeah, no, I just put a switch in. That's all. While you were putting on your thing, I just had to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Managed to do it in the same amount of time. Just saying, pretty good with the solder. Mm -hmm. Shannon. Yeah. I should have. I should have bought another pair. <laughs> right. I did tell you, didn't I? Yeah, I know. So did Wayne. Mm, see. Oh, you asshole. Richard. Maybe you just. There we go. There we go. Uh, don't I forget, guys. Uh, just a gentle reminder obviously, the virtual crafty coming up. Uh, not this weekend, next weekend. Just a reminder, we've had it earlier. I just thought I'd remind you. Very important. Go along and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already. Or else we'll sit Andy on you. Yes. That's not very nice. No. <laughs> um. Bing. Almost there. <laughs> okay so right nearly there i don't think i could stand here for much longer anyway but can we do your seat no it's all right oh actually yeah let me just see why not use a seat oh. oh oh god that's better why didn't i think of that i don't know you're a bit all over the place today, aren't you? Huh? I may have totally buggered that uh, ring, actually. That one? Yeah. Oh, have I? I buggered that one. Yeah, buggered that one. Let's put another one in. Can you not use the end of these? Or are they going to be too sharp? No, you can use the end of those. So I'm just trying to just... Just get it in there, so... There we go. Damn you, sausage fingers. <laughs> oh God, every time I move my leg, my ankle pops out. Huh? Every time, every time I move my leg, my ankle pops out. Have you not got something smaller you could use? To hold no, that's it. it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Or the very edge of these. I'm going to be hoping mm. tomorrow goes mm. super, super quick. Mm. So I can get home and have a play with this. <laughs> right, last one. Uh, I'm going to... I think you should use a round one for that one. I can't get a round one in there. Oh, yeah, it's too big. It's going to have to be one of these ones here, look. 
start to think that looks nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that looks nice. Looks lovely. Mm. So you know what? I think we're pretty much done there, you know. Mm. What I'll do is I'll make some more, but I'll do a bigger hole and then we'll thread some of this black black um this stuff through. It's like leather. Mm. Uh, because I've got these little clasps, these little screw on clasps. There's a, another one there. You tie it each end and it just screws in. Yeah. You know what you could also do? The bigger pieces, you could make like key rings. I mean, as long as they're soft enough, they might be nice key rings, wouldn't they? Yeah. There we go. Right. Right, so I think that's it. Let's move these out of the way. I will be uh, buffing them. So they're nice and shiny. But they look lovely, don't they? Mm -hmm. Which one's your favourite? My favourite is probably that one there. Mm. I think that might be my favourite. But I do like this. I do like this. Um, whatever that is. It's like a piece of slate, isn't it? Yeah. Or something. Oh, I've lost somebody. No way. Wayne went. There's come back. Right. right. Well, there you go. What do you think, guys? Internet I dropped out. That's, That's nice. very cool, man. Very cool. Very cool. Quite enjoyed myself tonight. But we will. Um, Looks great, Rich. A little, That's cool. A little bit of a clean up. But I do want them to still look like what they are. You know, mm. like the face of this one. You can see it's all pitted and stuff like that. Oh, that's what I want to keep because it, it says that it is sea glass. Um, same as this one. I don't know what this... This may have been the glass from a, a boat. You know, a window in a boat maybe at some point because it's got these little lines on. Maybe the toilet in the boat. <laughs> um, this one, I don't know. It does look like some kind of a... Um, that still looks like a tile to me. A tile? Yeah, Ooh, yeah it's, 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 it's very thick. Window. It's very thick. It looks like a glass tile. Yeah. It is concave, though. There is a... There is a, mm. uh, a See, it's... It? It, it, I'm telling you, it's a lens glass from a light. Like an old oh, light. It's 100% what it is. Especially down yeah. Beta Park, it's probably because someone nicked a car uh, quite a few years ago when they were made of glass, <laughs> smashed it into the into Pool Harbour, and that's where where it is. Hmm. Not that Andy would know anything about that. No, it's just what happened. Used to happen down there. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, I'm going to come back on the camera now. Uh, are you all ready? You all you got your clothes on? You put them back on screen? <laughs> no. Yeah. My name is not Wendy. <laughs> new, 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 new day. Um. All right. Uh, okay. There you go. <coughs> right then. Um, I've been quite enjoyed myself tonight. I don't know about everyone else, but cool. It's been sort of totally, cool totally to different. Again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I will be doing some more of those though because they I enjoyed that. You know, it was very therapeutic. Um. Uh, thanks, uh, Terry. Uh, Robert. It's all good comments cool excellent um so and thanks to the worms for um for coming in and taking care of the chat for me oh, my mouse what's going on with my mouse there we go yeah yeah okay then right then and thanks to everyone in the chat um i really do appreciate you coming in and and giving your support and all that sort of stuff 
and tomorrow we're at eight o'clock we'll be seeing wayne no doubt he'll be turning something i'll be turning something no doubt yeah. on that cool and what was that where did you get the findings from rich i don't know what they oh, where did we get the the, 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 no no the jewelry findings rich that's what they're called oh all oh, the bits the range. of the jewelry yeah you can get them the from range. the range you can get them from various bead stores jewelry shop on the internet um that's where Jane tends to get all hers from hmm. and they're quite cheap as well you know like a pound for a pack of each one but yeah um okay so yeah so I'll be going and doing a uh, an invasion hopefully for the crafty show on Thursday so keep an eye out uh Jane JP hasn't confirmed yet but if he does he does if he doesn't he doesn't so anyway right guys thanks very much and i'll see you all soon no worries bye, hey, bye. bye.